Hello, and welcome to this brief introduction to Universal Scene Description, or OpenUSD. I'm Aaron Luke, a founding developer of USD and senior engineering manager for NVIDIA Omniverse. In this short video series, I'll cover the basics of USD and what you need to know to start harnessing its data modeling and aggregation superpowers. Whether you're a developer interested in building 3D tools for the metaverse, an artist ready to create highly complex virtual worlds, or a researcher experimenting with generative AI and other data science pipelines, USD can unlock new possibilities in your workflows. Originally invented and open sourced by Pixar Animation Studios to support large scale visual effects and animation in feature films, USD is an open scene description with APIs for creating, editing, querying, rendering, collaborating, and simulating in virtual worlds. Today, its highly scalable and interoperable features enable large, high fidelity scenes that accurately simulate the real world. Open sourced in 2015, USD is now being used in a wide range of industries beyond media and entertainment, such as architecture, engineering, design, manufacturing, retail, scientific computing, and robotics, among others. USD is much more than a file format. It's a framework, ecosystem, and interchange paradigm that assembles disparate data sources into a composed ground truth. USD supports a wide variety of properties to define and render objects while making scene structuring and editing more efficient and collaborative with sparse, non-destructive authoring. There are four key features of USD that make it a powerhouse for data modeling and interchange, enabling it to be highly extensible and meet the demands of virtual worlds. The first is its composition engine, which enables sparse, non-destructive assembly of data from numerous sources as individual layers. Different users can modify the composed scene in different layers, and their edits will be non-destructive. The stronger layer will win out in the composition, but the data from the weaker layer remains accessible. The second key feature is custom schemas. USD's data model is fully extensible with custom schemas. USD itself comes bundled with core schemas such as geometry and shading. NVIDIA has worked with Pixar and Apple to create physics schemas for rigid bodies, and other custom schemas are being explored to further expand the ecosystem for digital twins and virtual worlds. The next key feature concerns asset resolvers and file formats. USD is entirely file system agnostic. The data isn't tied to file systems or any other persistent storage. It can even be procedurally generated. This is made possible by USD's plugin system for asset resolvers, such as Omniverse Nucleus, and file formats like Alembic and OBJ. The final key feature of USD is Hydra. Originally designed as an abstraction between input scene graphs such as USD and output renderers such as RTX, Hydra has evolved into a generalized framework for processing composed scene graphs and runtimes. One of the key advantages of Hydra is that it's not tightly coupled to any single runtime data layout. This allows Omniverse to compile the composed USD into a deeply vectorized data layout called Fabric. With Hydra, USD can feed different renderers like Pixar Storm and RenderMan out of the box. With that, you're all set to get started on your OpenUSD journey. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of our USD for Developers series to dive deeper into each of these four key features and more. Visit usd.nvidia.com to get the latest advancements in USD and access more resources. You can also drop us a comment to let us know how you liked the video and tell us which aspects of USD you'd want us to explore in future installments. Thanks for watching.